Today we're gonna learn about seasons. We're in like the sunshine, warm summer rays, maybe we think of yellow. That's the snow falling because it's so cold in the winter. Classy! Well, hello everyone, it's Aria from the Teeny Tinies. I am a mama of two and I love, love, love what I do, which is making music and learning with each and every one of you. Ha 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 ha! Today we're gonna learn about seasons. Mm -hmm. Four different seasons. One, two, three, four. Four different seasons. That's right. Sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's chilly, sometimes it's not. And we're going to discover why and what happens. So, first of all, can you share your name with me with a laugh clap beat? Get our two hands ready. We're going to go laugh, clap, laugh. Come on, just like that, just like that. Hello, my name is Aria. I like singing with you and learning. Hello, my name is Aria. I hope you like it too. Hello, what's your name? Yeah, that's a lovely name. Truly, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing. Can I get a drum roll? Uh, freeze. Okay, you can move, you can move, you can move. Oh my goodness. So right now, I live in Ontario and it is currently spring. Summer is quickly approaching, but right now it is spring. And we're going to learn about spring. That's one of them. And then we're gonna learn about summer. Yes, I love summer. It's so hot. And we can go swimming and go to the beach. All sorts of amazing things in the summertime. Mm -hmm. And then it starts getting a little bit chilly and the leaves start changing colors. And then it's fall, yeah. And then after fall, guess what happens? You got to put on a hat, a scarf, gloves, snow pants, boots, because it's winter and it's really cold. We're gonna do a really cool activity. Are you, are you excited? You are? If you're ready, I wanna hear you say, I'm ready. Okay, my good friend Gratitude is ready too, right? Mm-hmm. Gratitude comes along because gratitude always reminds me to think of at least one thing I'm grateful for, okay? Aww. Like I'm grateful that I had food to eat today. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Not everybody has food to eat every day, so we have to be very grateful that we have food to replenish our body, soul, and mind. But let's get into our activity, shall we? Oh yeah! Nature! With Aria. Look what I've created. I've created a little collage of what's going to make up our four seasons. Remember, we talked about four different seasons. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. We have green to represent the spring because during the spring, that's when flowers start to grow, flowers begin to grow, and we have grass that grows and little bud starts forming on trees. So I felt like green would be a great color for spring because it's new growth, new beginnings in my mind anyways. And so green is what we chose for spring. And as you can see, I've got a nice little flower over here that we're going to use to help decorate. And then for summer, we've got yellow, right like the sunshine, warm summer rays, maybe we think of yellow. So we used yellow for the sun and I've got grass over here because you see a lot of people out in the summertime taking care of their grass or it's really fun to maybe roll down some hills in the grass. I mean, Grass is just the perfect representative of summer for me. So we've got some grass from the backyard right over here that we're going to use to decorate in this portion over here for summer. And then as we begin moving along into fall, when the leaves start falling off the trees and start changing colors, I chose red because most of the leaves start turning a red orange color and then they turn to brown. And I've got a pumpkin over here because in the fall, a pumpkin, sometimes I love eating pumpkin soup. And so I figured I'd use a pumpkin, but you can use anything you like that helps remind you of the different seasons. But I love pumpkin soup. I even love pumpkin pie, mmm, so delicious. And then for our fourth season, we have winter. Winter when it's really cold. I chose blue because it's like, I thought of ice. And I thought of ice, and I just thought of 
blue for being cold. I know that ice, sometimes there's black ice, um, but blue was the feeling that I had and I've got some white pom-poms here. Guess what that's going to represent? The snow. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is I've got a brown marker here. You can choose any marker you like. I'm going to trace out my hand. My hand is going to represent the trees. Yeah, so if you wanna join this activity, you can trace out your hand or you can use paint and draw a tree, whichever you prefer. But I'm going to go ahead and trace out my hand. Check it out. My hand down here will represent the tree trunk, right? So I've got the tree trunk. And then my fingers are going to represent the branches. So I've got one little finger, two, three, four, and five. Ending off with my thumb. Let's see what the tree looks like. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so we've got a hand for the fall, and let's do the same for winter. I'm going to try using my right hand and tracing with my left hand to practice my fine motor skills. I am right-handed, so this is gonna be a little tricky, but I think I can do it. You think I can do it? If you think I can do it, can you give me a round of applause like this? Like this, like this? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Awesome, thanks for the support. Okay, here we go, left hand. Don't let me down. Here we go. We start off with the trunk down at the bottom. There we go, so far so good. And then we start with our thumb, one, two, you can count with me, three, oh boy, four, and five, you got it. You're amazing, let's see. Ha ha, we got two trees, so far so good. Okay, now what you can do is you can go ahead and trace these and then we'll be right back around, okay? Hang tight. Okay, so we've completed our trees, our four trees for our four seasons. One, two, three, four. And what we're going to do is we're going to use some paint to decorate each tree in each season to represent what it looks like during that time. And we're going to start off with spring. Now during spring, remember, in the spring, which takes place in March, right? Spring starts in March. And what happens is the buds start forming on the trees, right? They're not filled with leaves yet, mm -mm, but they're just starting to sprout and just starting to blossom. And so what we're going to do for spring is we're just going to put a few leaves on the trees, okay? And we're going to do that with paint. Now I have here an, a lid that I tend to use for mixing colors and we have green right over here. So I don't mind getting a little messy. Do you mind getting a little messy? You want to? Yeah, okay, thumbs up, let's do it. I'm going to use my first finger here and I'm going to dab it in the green. Oh, it's cold, it's definitely cold. I'm gonna dab it in the green and I'm just gonna put a few leaves on our tree for spring. Maybe one here. Maybe one here. Maybe I want one here, here, and here. Not many in the spring, right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Maybe I'll add one more, just for the fun of it. Uh, here. Yeah, okay, so there's our leaves to represent spring. Not too many because, as I said before, it's still not warm enough for the tree to fill with all the leaves. And let's take our flowers and just decorate them around our tree for spring. How's that look? Does that look good? I think so. I think it looks great. Or maybe we'll put one over here too. We can do whatever we like. There we go. And now for summertime, in the summer, that's when everything really starts to flourish. So for summertime, we're gonna put lots and lots of green leaves, okay? Lots and lots of green leaves. Here we go. Here's our green, and we're just gonna have as much fun as we like putting all the green leaves all over the tree. So many leaves in the summertime. Beautiful colors that happen. We've got our green leaves covering our tree. 
Oh yeah, how's that look? Should I put some more? Yeah? Okay, I'll put a bit more. Lots and lots of green, beautiful leaves in the summer. Maybe I'll put them here too. Can do whatever we like. Has anyone been counting? There's a lot of leaves here. If you think there's more than five leaves, I wanna hear you clap your hands. You think there's more than five? Okay. Do you think there's more than 10? Clap your hands if you think there's more than 10. Okay. Do you think there's more than 20? Clap your hands if you think there's more than 20. Yeah, I think there's definitely more than 20. Okay, so let's add our grass. Okay, let's go ahead and add our grass. Right along the bottom here, just like that. There we go, summer's looking like summer. It's got grass and beautiful leaves covering. Now let's move down to fall. In the fall, remember, it gets really chilly in the fall. And some of the colors that we see during fall on the leaves, what do we see? Are the leaves red? Yeah, the leaves turn red. And do they turn orange sometimes? Yeah, they turn orange a little bit. And sometimes there's a few green leaves left hanging on the tree. So how about we use red, orange, and green to decorate our tree in the fall? Yeah, thumbs up? Okay, let's do it. We've got a little bit of red, a little bit of red, mixing it all around. Oh, and let's get some orange in there some orange and you know what you can even mix them together a bit because then it'll look more realistic it'll look like how the trees look because it's not all red all the different leaves have a combination of the orange and the red this is looking good this is looking great you're amazing now in the fall do you remember what I said I like to eat pumpkin soup yes Yummy, yummy pumpkin soup. We're gonna add some green too because there's some green straggler leaves that are left on there as well. There we go. What do you like to eat in the fall? Hmm? When it starts getting chilly outside. Do you like to eat pie? Yeah. What about apple pie? Do you like apple pie? You do? Ooh, look at this fall leaf. It's looking wonderful. Okay, let's add our pumpkin right about here. How's that? Awesome. Okay, and then for winter, in the winter, are there any leaves on the tree during the winter? No, all the trees have fallen off in the fall, remember? Okay, so what we'll do for winter is we're going to use some of these white pom-poms to represent the snow falling, okay? That's the snow falling because it's so cold in the winter, but there's so much fun that you can have in the winter, right? You can go skating, or you can go tobogganing, or you can even make snowmen in the winter. There's lots of white snow, lots of fluffy white snow. So here are our four seasons and all the beautiful colors. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. I'm gonna show you the months, and then we're gonna flip around and sing our goodbye song, okay? So spring happens in March. Here we go. Spring happens in March, and then summer happens in June, the month of June, so I'll put that there. And fall takes place in the month called September. So I'll put this right here. Oh, I've got my pumpkin in the paint. <laughs> September. And then in the winter happens in December. So I'll put December right here. We've got March, June, September, and December. All right, I'm gonna flip around and we can sing our goodbye song. You did amazing. All right, clap your hands like this. Yes, there we go. It's time to say 